Johnny Makeup here back to another video. Today I'm going to either react or play, um, react to something scary, or I'm gonna do 100 days. So, from with the notable and stuff. Um, first, let's take this phone. Let's do this. This is uh, the 100 days, and this is the reacting. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, check it, check it by its toe, if it always let it go, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, my mom says to pick the very best one, and you are it. Alright, we're re reacting to something scary, so, pu so pull up your chairs, and get ready. Okay. Okay. You guys ready? So, uh, since I got, um, the computer thing working... Let's jump right into it. So uh, let's turn the volume up. About there. How does that sound? And let's. Oh crap! No, I'm not doing that one because that one scared the crap out of me. Um. Eh. No. Hmm. Let's do uh the one right above the one that scared me. Many of you guys watching this have been to or live in Northern California like me. Okay, well, I might move to California, but you never know. You can all agree that there really is a lack of scary spots or paranormal activity in general. So, hold on, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna listen to three of these, so the videos might be long, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna put the captions on. The Winchester Mystery House is still standing, but it's essentially transitioned into a tourist trap. It has tour guides and a gift shop now. Oh, okay. It really takes the scare factor out of it. There were plenty of Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing. Hold on, I'll be right back. God, I can't... Don't forget the pillow. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. We have high crime or sketchy areas around here, but okay. what I'm about to talk about is something completely different. Okay. What my friends and I encountered that night is something that still haunts me to the Your mom, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was the middle of spring break that year, and my friends and I were bored out of our... Hold on, which one is you? I think the, the person who's talking, I think it's probably like this guy. But why do they look so, like, dead inside? Like, look, there's a video game thing when there's no TV. Your, hold on, your living room connects with your bedroom. Hey, it's, it's not wasting money. Mines. Our flight to Miami got canceled last minute in. Oh, Miami. Uh, hmm. It's close to where I live, I mean. I, yeah. We knew we were going to be at home for a bit longer. We were a bunch of well, I'm just gonna say I live in Florida. Cool. To four teenagers longing for an adventure. We knew that we were bound to make a series of stupid decisions after this, but hey, we were young. It's what you do. I want you to take a. We were young. I want you to take a look at this guy and tell me why your hair gray. He's like in his fifties. This guy's in his thirties, and this guy's like twelve. Eventually, I was scrolling to. That's a interesting way to spell TikTok. I mean, it's right the right way to spell TikTok, but it's all sloppy and all over the place. The TikTok. Did you know TikTok was actually um, spelled or was actually musically until they changed it? And I came across a pretty viral video on my For You page. <coughs> oh the TikTok God! TikTok was part of a series on paranormal places. Sorry, in my... I sneezed. Bloody albinos. I took across America. And this According to my cat, no, I'm just kidding. I can't read lines. It was apparently based in San Jose, California, the closest major city to us. Well, you're screwed. The TikTok described a tale of a tribe, if you will, of albino ghost like people who come out at night and prey on unsuspecting. Looks like me when I'm hungry. <sighs> Give me food. Travelers. They were known to perform various satanic activities and rituals. 
Some even blame them for the mysterious disappearances of people on those mountains. I'm surprised that this guy's just chilling here. And it's it's a tribe, right? So shouldn't there be like more people instead of just this poor guy? They're just like they're just like, hey Jeremy, you know what to do. It's like, how guys, how come I always have to do everything? Go or you're suspended. Oh man. It, poor guy. Mountains Press decided. alt instead of shift. Legend says that the blood albinos who lived there were cursed or were demonic beings from another plane of existence. Hmm. Other online articles talk. I'm so shocked that everyone in this, like, in this, like, the people look so sad and depressed. Like, can't you make, like, Sally over here just being, like, like, happy instead of just this poor guy just being, like, why am I here? Like, at least he has, like, a fake smile. About a set of screaming ghost-like creatures who would sweep people away in weird ways. Screaming? Oh, bruh, you're scared of a tree. Many other people online even mentioned hearing loud, shrill, shrieking noises. I mean, what was that? Like, he just, he, his arms are out like this, like he's a zombie, and he's going like, he's like, that's a, another way. People, that's how you turn your head. <laughs> Every time they drove by there after sunset. I even found a news article from a rather credible news. Why does that guy breathe like that? He breathes like... It's like, this guy okay? ...the disappearance of a young man in those same hills. The man was a young... And then he goes, exactly, hold on. I want you to see the transition. Look. the disappearance of a young man in those same hills. He's scared. He moves down to just, eh. The man was a young, healthy hiker and had seemingly no reason to disappear like that. The police still haven't found his body to this day. But after doing a bit more- He's hiding behind a tree. Ah, this is hide and seek all over again. He's hiding behind the tree. research online on blood albinos. I came- Why do I have to call him that? Why can't you just call him Jeffrey or James or something? Like, like, I don't like the name Godzilla. Like, I named him Jeff. Like, something with a J. Like, Joseph. It was probably some sort of weird cult or drug group up in the hills. Why? Why? Here, I'm just gonna put it like up here. I assume the hiker's disappearance could have just been a plain coincidence. I don't, I don't like it that people like look at their phones and they're just like, <laughs> it's weird. It's, urban legends are very easy to spread online, so I brushed it off as another dumb myth. I brought it up to three of my friends and we laughed it off. All of us were. You have three friends here. It looks like two. You have two friends. One, two. That I mean, if you're talking about yourself in a third-person view, that's weird. So-called blood albinos, and we thought it was another stupid online myth. Most of my friends, including myself, were never into paranormal activity. We never even believed in ghosts in the first place, so it was quite interesting that we were even talking about. Them. Guys laughing like, <laughs> so funny. So, uh, Craig, who's your mom? Oh, she's doing good. Thanks. Thanks. In the first place. But my friends and I were eager for an adventure. We were bored out of our minds and we were all blown away by how cool. You guys are in like a this big house. Those things are like four feet tall or like whatever. Like I don't know how tall they are. They look pretty tall. The closest legend was to us. The so-called cursed mountains were only about ten minutes away. Why would you go there? Not in. If I were to do something like that, it'd be a cold day in hell. Never, ever will I do that. Ever. Now I'm gonna move the camera we had over way here. Too much time on our hands, and we wanted to check out what was up there. Okay. We wanted to be the ones that would prove that there were no such blood albinos up there. And and let me guess, I can name this the whole entire story for you. Are you ready? So, they're gonna go up there, and they're gonna see it, and scream, and run, 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 and then they'll never be seen again. This was just a normal hill. If all else failed, then at least my friends and I would find ourselves a good smoke spot up there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> if we're getting chased by cannibals, let's go sm find a good smoke spot. <laughs> the area Very creative. Was remote, and we knew that no cop would be up there. Then why? The hell would you go there? 
I'm sorry. But why? Voice mod is the number oh yeah, don't forget the ads. We have hardcore ads. Voice mod. No, I'm just kidding. No one's... Oh, speaking of ads. Um, the person sponsoring this video is me. No one's sponsoring this video. Had nothing better to do. <laughs> we set off at around 2 a.m. Coming with me. So it's 10 minutes. So it depends um, what time. So, so let's say it's 2.50 a.m. Take it 10 minutes, which makes it 3. Um, Where my friends Taylor. I don't know why I just did that, but okay. Taylor, Kevin, and Hybe. They're probably going to do two. The driver's seat. The things we brought with us included flashlights, phone chargers, and why? A few recreational drugs of our choice. Okay, listen up. I want you to sit down. Don't do drugs, because these people are going to die, so just don't do it. We set our GPS to Hicks Road, San Jose. That's an interesting way to, I mean, you're holding the thing. You're holding your phone and it's just going like, hmm. Okay. Jose, California. And we Sorry. drove off. As we started driving up the hills, everything seemed pretty normal. Your wheels. Your car is as big as that trail. Just start walking. The twisty mountain roads were nothing. You lazy piece of crap. Into a typical inn. We seemed to be going past a water reservoir. At this point, we let our guard down completely. We even started cracking jokes on how stupid this idea was and how people are afraid of everything. As we drove- The only thing I'm afraid of- Afraid of is you! Oh! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Deeper into the hills, Kevin said that he found a Google Maps link on a forum. The link would guide you to a set of coordinates where supposedly the blood albinos were. We decided to say hell with it and go over to the coordinates. Every part of me told me that this was a horrible idea, but- Hell, my judgment was horrible at the time. Okay, so this is the this is the guy narrating. This is the guy who's just all over the place. Um, uh, I'm gonna bring this up. <laughs> if you don't mind. All right, let's go. As we got there, things started to get legitimately eerie. There was no cell phone signal, and we were out in the woods at 3 a.m. If we told you screamed or cried for help, no one would hear us. Despite our gut feelings, we kept driving. Hey, at least you got your friends. As we reached the house, there was an extended driveway that stemmed from the main road. So far, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. I just see some house that's run down with broken windows. 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 There were no house numbers, no street lights, and no blood albinos either. Hey, at least you, you proved your point. Oh, crap, I put it on mute. Boop pointed as we were, we were still eager to explore the houses. We all got out of the car. Kevin and Taylor pulled out a joint, while Jaime and I uh -oh. were ourselves. I just and saw Jaime something out of my... But albinos either. Hold up. As disappointed as we were, Hold we were up. Phone. Hold we up. Out of the car. Uh, what is that? I'm pretty sure... That that was a uh, where are you a blood I albino thing? And he moves back. Look. Pulled out a joint. Oh no! Jaime and I went over to explore the house ourselves. Don't forget to bring your cigarettes. Jaime and I no, I'm throughout the houses. We didn't see anything too don't, the don't ordinary. Don't smoke. Graffiti. Um, I don't know if I saw something under the corner of my eye, but look over we didn't here. Didn't see anything too out of the ordinary. Graffiti, litter, and booze mm. bottles were among the things we found there. Nothing He's hiding behind this. For an old house. There was a star oh boy, am I ready to see? But we didn't think. Uh... Anyone could have put that there, especially a bored group of teenagers like us. There were a few more. Oh, your teen. Your teenagers. The guy's like 65 years old. But again, it wasn't anything unusual. It was an ordinary abandoned neighborhood. Man, I feel bad for these people. Unoccupied for a long, long amount of time. <laughs> long As Jaime and I explored the back of the house, we noticed a path. But it wasn't a paved path. It was a path formed from years of people walking up and down there. 
someone had been coming up there. Naturally, Jaime and I decided to explore the path. As we went down there, we heard a loud, ghastly yell. It sounded like a person, but it Meow! <laughs> wasn't at the same time. The shrieks were almost controlled, almost like they were talking to someone. Whoever was making this noise sounded angry, almost territorial. Um. We shined our flashlight roughly where the sound came from. We noticed a deer lying dead on the ground. It was dismembered. Oh! Dow! Where's his eyes? And mutilated. At first, Jaime and I passed it off as a yeah. mountain lion attack. There are a lot of humans. Okay, if you don't like blood, cover your eyes. It was in the hills. But the shrieks didn't sound like a deer or a mountain lion attack. Add. Hey, you! Hi. Oh. Yeah. And considering mountain lions drag their prey away, it made no sense why a mutilated deer was lying there. It just didn't add up. Eh, don't worry about but it. But as we looked up and around, Jaime and I froze. In the distance, not too far away from the deer, was a shadowy figure. We could barely make it out. Mom? I'm just kidding. The darkness, but <laughs> as a reflex, I shined my flashlight at the figure. I thought it was Kevin trying to prank me. Hello, I am... Hello, welcome to the Quickie Mart on the But as the light reflected, we realized the humanoid figure wasn't Kevin. It seemed to be some sort of creature that stood up on two legs. It's a man that just hadn't ate and he doesn't get a lot of sun. Something about it seemed human and not human at the same time. Hey, I mean... Eh. In time, it had paper white pasty skin. Oh! Its eyes seemed to be a bloodshot red. I wanted to believe it was some crazy. Hi! Nice to meet ya! I'm Minicraft! Enjoy your day, Minicraft! Oh, thank you! Bye! It Homeless <laughs> person or crackhead in the woods, but the way this thing moved, it wasn't human. It was unlike anything we'd ever seen before. Denim, 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 denim. I'm scared. What if it just started moving like. Before. And How does the thing move? Leaped. It hopped over to the deer and suddenly oh, three more pasty white creatures stepped out and swooped the deer away. It's like, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I left my food here. Uh, here, let me just clean it up for you. Okay, well, now you can pass. Go ahead. We swooped the deer carcass away into the darkness, but to our horror, one of the four just stood there and looked at us. Ivy and I were shaking. I consider myself normally a calm person, but what my the heck? It the creature shrieked. Meow! Took a step forward. Ivy and I ran as fast as we could. Faster than the flash! <laughs> we sprinted knowing that our lives may depend on it. Jesus, you're fast. Back. The shrieking got louder and louder, and we heard <laughs> more and more footsteps. You look back at, like, what if they're just, like, Kevin walking? And, Taylor, and they seemed really confused. Start the car and get us out of here. Start the car! Both of them were confused, but when they saw the look on Jaime and I's face, they knew there was no time for questions. We jumped in the car. Kevin quickly Your shirt's going up and down. I don't think I breathe we like that. Pulling out, we heard more shrieks coming up behind Meow. us. Meow! Taylor started to cry. As we were Wimp. leaving the windy dirt road, one of the creatures came up unexpectedly from the side and lunged into the car. Kevin didn't even have time to react. The creature struck oh! None of us even wanted to think about turning back and seeing what we struck, but I managed to look through the rear window and saw it. The albino was completely unfazed. Didn't seem to be hurt by the moving car. <laughs> my single ladies, my single ladies. It just stared at us menacingly as we drove away. When we got back to the main city, we explained to Kevin and Taylor what exactly happened. We debated calling the police, but we knew that for one, we would be incriminating ourselves for the drugs in our car, and then why would you bring drugs in your car, you idiot? Two, the police would never believe us. The car had a massive dent in the front bumper from the collision. Unfortunately, a big dent in the front bumper isn't enough to prove the existence of blood albino. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it'd be cool if you got a snapshot. If you like going back there, hey, uh, you hey, can we take a group, group photo of you guys? Uh, let me just... Hey, thanks. Bye. <laughs> have talked about this. 
Jaime and I have mentioned it once or twice it's, briefly, but... They're probably gonna be in, like, the back window, because they followed the car. Kevin and Taylor were skeptical at first, but when they saw how frightened I was, they took our word for it. Let this be a message to anyone who wants to... Well, they're, like, in the woods, so, uh, I know where there are. To visit they the are. They are. road in San Jose. Bring a friend, and go at daytime. You do not want to meet whoever we encountered there. Uh, where are you? Oh, that's, uh... No, I'm chilling. <laughs> This incident occurred sometime in the fall of 2006. I grew up in a rural part of Ohio. Oh, I was like, there's feet! <laughs> dense woods located directly behind it. As a child, I had a passion for exploring. I especially loved at exploring the At night? I don't think your parent. If you're- If you had a passion for exploring at night, I don't feel like you should just- Like, a kid just being like, walking, like, Oh, hey, Jeremy! Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna take out my dog. Don't worry. Jeremy's just like, it's it's 5 a.m. <laughs> oh crap! I keep doing that thing. Those woods many times, always with my mother's permission. Oh, that's nice. There was one tree in particular that I frequently enjoyed to climb. Usually. Hey, the tree without any leaves. I'm just kidding. <laughs> about to the halfway mark, so I could perch myself on one of the heavier branches and just relax as I listen to the peaceful sounds of nature. Climbing that tree. Meow. <gasps> no, not those blood eye albinos. Hey, the guy lives right next to the mountain. For the very first time was quite an accomplishment. From that position, I could partially see the back of my house. That's On nice. That day, after a fair amount of exploring, I carefully scaled my favorite tree. I seated myself on a sturdy branch and took in the view. Naturally, being That's late nice. in October, the sun inevitably began to set within a few minutes. I always felt a little saddened to see the darkness approaching. The woods were like my own little sanctuary. Aww. I could entertain myself out there for hours. When darkness began to fall, however, my mother would stand at the edge of the woods and call my name until I obediently returned home. So no Come on, sweetie. Out there in the dark. Yes, Mama! After watching the sunset until I could okay. no longer see it, I began my descent down the tree. I was nearly at the bottom when I heard my mother's familiar voice calling my name. I thought nothing of it at first, as this routine had occurred plenty of times before. Then I realized something strange as my feet touched the ground. My mother's voice was coming from behind me, deeper in the woods, rather than towards the entrance where she always stood when she called me home. Oh, well, that's not, that's not a hard question. It's not your mom! My mom had never entered those woods before, at least not with me. I was eager to find her and show her all of my favorite spots before it grew too dark. That's when I realized something was off. Sorry. How could she have gone into those woods ahead of me? Certainly I could have missed her, but as I said, she never entered those woods. She continued calling my name, but there was something strange about her. She sounded... Don't go there! Absolutely frantic, almost angry. Fearing that I was in trouble for reasons currently unknown, I froze in place. As her voice drew closer, I squinted my eyes to see if I could locate her and determine exactly how angry or upset she appeared to be. However, it's not your mom. Or anything unusual. Suddenly, I heard her voice calling my name from the direction of my house, sounding much calmer. Seconds later, from somewhere within the woods yet again, it wasn't an echo. I wasn't imagining things. I was literally hearing her beckoning me from the edge of our backyard, as well as ahead of me. My legs suddenly turned to jelly. You know, it's great. I couldn't quite comprehend what was going on. <laughs> from here, right now, the voice that I originally believed to be her screamed from just ahead. I realized oh, that it's actually kind of comfortable. whatever was mimicking my mother was drawing closer. RUN! Oh yeah, that's not your mom. That's not- Hold oh, on. Hold up! Hold up! That's not your mom! As there was something about the way it sounded that unnerved me. Your mom has beautiful white teeth, not barely any. Terrified of what I 
would see if I stood there much longer. I turned around and ran towards the exit of the woods as quickly as my legs could possibly carry me. It was amazing that I didn't trip over anything in my haste. Even though my house wasn't very far away from me from where I was standing, those woods had never seemed larger to me than they did in that moment. Well, maybe because you're just Behind jogging. Me, my mother's voice continued to call my name, now sounding desperate. Hold up. Said in as oh! Came into view. Dang! Hold up! Hold! How? Hold up! Hold up! Even though my house wasn't very close, Hold up! Bruh! Bruh! Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. No, one second. Mother's voice continued to call my name. Now Look at those eyes! That's not your mom! Panic set in as my actual mother finally came into view, waiting patiently as she usually did until I returned home. In my frightened state, I absolutely refused to look back. As soon as I was out of the woods, this kid's short. Oh yeah, voice mod! Download that. I'm just kidding. I mean, if you want. In the backyard next to my mother, the other voice was suddenly gone. Breath and face. I'm just. <laughs> that his. The very moment I stepped his mom's just like. Backyard. I must have looked as frightened as I felt because my mother asked me what was wrong. What's up, Slowly but bro? My, <laughs> my man, what's up? I didn't say anything until we were safely inside the house with our doors locked. I asked my mother if she had entered the woods. No. Confused by the question, she told me that of course she didn't. With that confirmation, I hesitantly asked oh. her anyone else calling my name and yelling. The answer to that question was also no. Although I was still very much shaken up, I managed to explain it as clearly and rationally as possible. This one's trying to scare me. I was surprisingly nonchalant about the whole situation, explaining that I must have imagined that I was. Hey, you're an idiot! You must have imagined it! The incidents in those woods had stayed with me to this day. I can still hear this voice as clear as a bell. Whoever or whatever is calling my name sounded exactly like my mother, but no, it wasn't her. Not only was she waiting for me outside, but the voice also sounded ah! in a way that I still can't fully explain. Oh god, I can't even look I at her. I go back into the woods until I was 17 years old and even <laughs> never hung out for very long. I've carefully gone over every. They're boxing that dumb lady. It seemed entirely plausible. It certainly wasn't my mother playing a prank. There was no way she could have pulled it off. Not to mention the fact that she's never been one to play pranks. I also highly doubt that it was anyone else because as I stated before, we lived in a very rural area. The closest neighbor was at least a mile away and mm -hmm. I wasn't personally acquainted with 520, 5,280 5, feet away, I think. I've since moved out of that house, but my mother and I occasionally discussed the incident. Mom's old. She still claims that she never heard or saw anything unusual out there. Uh, let's look back in that window. Probably shouldn't, but what happened in those woods continues to bother me. I spent many hours out there prior to that day and never had anything out of the ordinary occur. The best explanation I have at this point is a doppelganger or possibly a demon, but I'm not sure. If anyone has a possible explanation as to what might have happened, Just look. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Look at the cactus. Look at the cactus. Don't look at her. Don't look at her. Look at the cactus. Twenty-three-year-old female used to not believe in ghosts at all. Well, that's gonna have to end it for that video. I know the video isn't over, but eh, it's terrifying. So let's stop this, please. Bye.